St. John's. And the Jays had no other options. They did a nice job. Good find. Shireman's three is good. It's Alexander. Shireman starting to feel it. And there's the three. A little kiss to the... Well, one of the reasons you're open as a shooter is because of Colt Brett yes. inside. There's that double that came at him. Shireman, the open man as a result, and he hits the three. Hey, this is such pretty basketball. Here's Shireman. Got a glimpse. That one a little strong, and there's Trout for the offensive board. Ninth offensive rebound for the Jays, and Shireman baseline scoop for two. Goodness gracious, the Jays by 30. Shireman, turn around, jump shot, well done to put it through in the paint. Big rejection by Alexander with that timing and length on display, and then he'll pull up from three. I'm keeping it here with the Blue Jays. Shireman from the kick out, that's how this offense wants to roll. It makes the Blue Jays pay. That's what you got to do against Paul Turner. Those stretch fives that can shoot the three are difficult for him. Shireman has had no trouble with that fadeaway. Shireman, a filthy three. Mm. Shireman, 12 to shoot. Cricky with one foul early. Shireman going past him to the rim. Wow, is that crafty. Big Ten has a lot of guys like that. We yes. saw one last night in Lincoln in Kase Tome Naga. Shireman's one of those guys in the Big East who can shoot from anywhere. And here we go. Turn down the two and takes the three for Shireman. Just now three games in nine minutes. He has really done a good job in the offensive glass. Shireman just he could have driven a Mack truck down the line with that hole and rebound. Only player in the country that year to lead his conference in all three categories. And then he drills a three. Nothing but nylon for Baylor Shireman. He's one of those guys, Nick, you just you shake your head and say, how do you guard this guy? And he is enormous in person. Shireman for three. Same could be said for how do you guard this Creighton offense. And so he exits with 10.28 left to go and averaging 13 and a half triples per game, number one of the country. Shireman probing along the baseline, floater, got it. Not up to his normal scoring numbers, but there defensively, Shireman flashing to the cup. Pushed it up, and Colorado State is back. Shireman oh. firing up that crowd a little more. But coach, teams and coaches love when you execute offensively. Coaches really love when you get the oh. job done on defense. Without a doubt. Shireman kind of resigned, it seemed, to his fate. In the corner, catch and release. Lefty Baylor Shireman. And that's four rebounds for Shireman, who's fifth in career active rebounds in Division I basketball. And now he shows a little. Now Ryan Kaufbrenner set to check back in at the scorer's table after that garrison make. First, we got a big smile out of Greg McDermott today, mentioning his son, Doug, getting his number retired. How about that? We should have recruited uh, Sean McDonough to meet us here in Stillwater early. Uh, he's calling the game Saturday in Dallas. I think this is in Sean's, on Sean's radar. <laughs> right? King has checked into the ball game for Creighton, as has Francisco Farabello. Shireman again. This time puts it in. Shireman, their leading scorer. To the cup and sneaks it past Mast. Floor, no rim protection on the floor, and Wiltshire recognizes it and attacks. Shireman splashes another. At six foot seven, be able to rise up over Alexander. Those shots are available against Creighton. Those little 10 to 12 footers. Question is, can you make them? Shireman, given space, puts it down. You can't let a guy like this get this many looks. Look out. Alexander. Shireman left open. And makes some pay from downtown. Protect the three ball. 
Shireman surveying the floor. There's Trout open again, and he got it again. This, this is that. This is the definition of that. And as you said, only a bonus if you're a kid from Nebraska. Here's Shireman, another kid from Nebraska. Shireman thought about the three, puts it on the floor, driving off the glass. Shireman pulls down the rebound. Josiah Dulzler's into this game now for the Blue Jays. Nice look inside to King who finishes. I didn't see that coming. Turn around, Shireman answers with a three. <laughs> That's what I hear. Shireman scores it. Alexander, they chase him. So it's Shireman down the lane with a scoop. Four, two and a foul again. Thought about the three off the screen from King. Shireman broke right now back left. Measuring Stevenson leaned in, fires and scores is the beneficiary. And, and, and the refs already have a heightened sense of, you know, what, what's happening right now. So keep the pressure on them as well. Shireman lays into a three. Carabello wearing his country's colors, by the way, Argentina. Shireman, filthy. Well, his middle game is pretty special, too. Well, they run some great out of bounds. Good switch. Shireman on the drive and the finish. No whistle. And Alexander will push it up the floor. Look at, oh, my goodness. Oh, Shireman with the fake and the drive okay. to the rim. Shireman on the attack. Beautiful hesitation. Just couldn't finish at the rim. There's call corner again. Good hands to gather that. Shireman off the shot. Back. Drive the well, they have not really emptied the side to get caught burned. They run a nice set to do that. We've really not seen that tonight. Shireman. Here comes Lefty. Inside. That is a tough. Well, you mentioned Mitchell. That one little Larry, he does struggle, but he does so many other things for this team. Don't leave this guy alone. Up high, the three ball for Shireman. So you have clear time three times a year. <laughs> you read my calendar. Ashworth. Yes. Shireman. Snap the twine. That's the problem when you play great. Alexander in stride. That's the third turnover, too. Shireman, quick release. Drinks. It's amazing. A nice little look by Alexander, too. A little slap back. I'll bring it down to him. Ashworth on the wing. Three ball Shireman, who seemed to get a look there after the Joplin. Aggressive drive opposite. Five to shoot. Shovel Shireman wide open. Got it. Right. He does that great, though. He made that play. Leaves it for Alexander, who got a step on Heath. He's caught underneath. Let's pass out to Ashworth. Shireman for three. It's good. Nothing but net. That's yeah. I give out gift cards if anybody would have a charge. Because now there's no such thing as a help defender right. taking a charge. That's, they've been given up three layups like that. He probably should be coming out because if you get his fourth, he's done for a long time. Good move. Uh, count the bucket with great body control at the end for Shireman. In the narrow loss to Marquette just a week ago. Here he is posting up Carter. And Shireman has his first bucket. Not very good spacing for the Blue Jays there, but Providence doing a good job denying and blowing up some of these handoffs and ball screens with just denying it. Shireman will not be denied, and he goes to the cup. Five to shoot. Alexander, kick out. Shireman puts it in from downtown. Under 10 to shoot. Shireman. Ticket games couldn't have defended it better. The 23 a game is big time. Farabello finding Shireman in the opposite corner. And that is Shireman is the three-point drop. Shireman with that strong left hand. Fighting for position. Leaning and got it around Lewis. Backdoor Shireman. Good shot fake. After sitting out over six minutes, Shireman, yes. <laughs> Everything's gone their way. Right up your alley, huh? Shireman. Back 
back-to-back -back triples after they hit three in the first 32 minutes. Well, that's UConn's first turnover in over 18 minutes. Five for 23 for three as that one falls home for Shireman. And the lead is down to 14. Good defense by Ashworth. A different attitude right now. Shireman. Creighton is within 10. Don't say goodnight yet. Not, not to a big Mac team. Three-point shooter last year. Shireman on the rope. Knocked away by Kadari Richmond. Spin dribble. He's got a fire and hits. Nicely done by Shireman. Kadari. Nice leave. He blew a layup. The change of pace. And a run up by Shireman. And he's got the deuce. Not for the fate today, that's for sure. Shireman three ball, bingo! Rebounded by Alexander. Slow start offensively, just a 2-2 ball game. Shireman left alone, that's dangerous if you're Xavier. To the opposite side, that's a good read as Kalkbrenner was camped down in there to free himself up for a three. He's found the range, especially of late. Hit at least two of those in five of his seven games, and Shireman. And now just a two. Point ball game. Shireman step back three. The answer. You can't leave a guy that wide open. But those are the hustle plays that DePaul has to make as they improve going forward, and that's automatic. How many times has the crowd here in Omaha seen Baylor Shireman knock one down with ease? Like you said, it's just been blowout city. Shireman off the bounce. Well, you're exactly right. You do not want to get in a shootout with 13.25 to go. You still want to be disciplined if you're DePaul. Move it side to side. And right now they're in trouble. They need a timeout here and settle down. Shireman. Ashworth. Back out to Shireman. He's going to try again. Second time he gets it to fall. Into the corner. Swing it around to Shireman. He'll pull it for three, and Shireman knocks one down. He's been quite the shooting display from Butler early. Uh, on a night where they don't have their starting point guard, Pop Alexander, and Shireman hits him with another three. In terms of Shireman's change of direction, tie ball game, Shireman unties it. And he gets up with a hip. That's not good. Alley oop from Kalkbrenner sets up Shireman. A three free. Cash oh. it in. Timeout called by Providence. And played well in big games. Go back to the UConn game early in January. And then Shireman gets the bounce. Tough luck. Full house at the amp in Providence. Shireman. Rolls with Kalkbrenner. Short runners. That short shot. That is something else. Shireman goes to a strong hand, laying up with the right hand is off hand, and Creighton takes the lead right back. Hasn't shot the ball nearly as well, hasn't scored in three games, but early on, seeing him making winning basketball plays. Shireman. Shasha Chani trying to stay with Kalkbrenner, it does a nice job. But the save out to Shireman, up against the clock, and Drano. The Xavier Musketeers have been disruptive, and that defense has led to some offense. Shireman! Oh, oh. Jackknife! Really tough games, particularly the one at home to Butler. On a night when Thad Modestine just could not miss. Oh, my Great goodness. Great work by Shireman again. Johnny getting physical with Shireman, no big deal. And the quick bucket that time does not fall, and Shireman brings it up again. It's going up, folks. And it's going in. I, I just think it's hilarious. Made threes for the Hoyas tonight. That's the key to an upset on the road in Omaha. Eight to shoot. Shireman into the paint, fades away, and gets his first two. Some more zone from Georgetown here. Alexander probing that zone. Here's Shireman. Another look from three. This one will fall. Another clean look. And after the 0 for 6 start. And he's going to have to continue to try to get into the painted area. Either off the bounce or when he's posting up. Shireman on the drive. Using that window against Jamil Telford. Shireman with his first two. 
their post going here. Paul Brenner 0 for 2 to start this game. One of those that long three. Here's Shireman on the baseline. Splashes down the deep two. And Paul Brenner with the takeaway. Farabello ahead to Shireman. Links it up and in. And Baylor Shireman already with nine. First lead. Since it was 11 to 10. Inside, it's two more in the second half. Northeastern transfer. Over a thousand points in his three years there. Here's Shireman around the screen. Gets the three to fall. Baylor Shireman. Ashworth, the three in transition. Hit balls out. Trey Alexander with a rebound. Leaving for Shireman. Long shots lead to long rebounds. Wide open in the left corner. Maybe that'll spark this Butler offense. And a good stop. Shireman. Right inside of the team of that defense. You can see the frustration from Jalen Thomas. Yeah, they're setting that little screening action right there at the foul line, and he's just turning the corner. Holding Butler to 36% shooting. Shireman, acrobatic, 27 points. And the 21-point lead is now 15. Here's Shireman against Castle. I like his activity a little bit more lately. Count that bucket. And they, they, I like what Mac did. He ran a stagger on the left. At 13 points a game, his first 20 games. And you better get out on him every second. And St. John's has gone cold. A scoreless drought approaching two and a half minutes where they've missed four in a row. Shireman in the foul. And that's the problem. Somebody, you didn't lose to Georgetown or DePaul, you know what I mean? So, I think you leave them probably where they are. They, instead of moving up with the UConn win, they'll probably end up staying the same. That Creighton missed. Step back three. Shireman puts it in his second of the game. Shireman. Gets it back on the wing, tries a three. I mean, Greg McDermott. Alexander says, to heck with that. <laughs> right. And Greg McDermott says, I, I don't like I don't like the mid-range shot. I like the three. Hanging tough early. Both teams three of seven from the floor. On the baseline, Alexander around the arc to Shireman. Got it. Well, if you don't contain the bounce against Creighton, I mean, how rare is it in college basketball, especially the Big East, you go this long with just one foul. Shireman fading. He got it. But you need him to be playing come March. Meanwhile, Jones has helped pick up the slack after that three-point play. He's got a dozen. Shireman, that almost hit the ceiling, and it still went down. Shireman came in and stole it. And he takes it all the way. Largest lead for the Jays. These two teams haven't met since late December. Shireman, three in the corner. To give themselves a chance here the last three minutes. Creighton has led for almost the entire game. Shireman in the corner. And that pushes the lead to 78-69. Alexander gets a screen. Three to shoot. Shireman. Got it. Shireman. Finishing it off. From a lot of action. Shuffle cut. Dribble handoff. And he's got range. That's right there. Shireman. Cross court now. Shireman. Look at the little bump. Always in the way. Tuck Trenner. Pushes off. Keeps his dribble alive. Still spins. Yeah, he's got it off. With 11 minutes to play in the first half. Shireman shows up, hesitates, jump up, up, and he's got a whole arsenal. Midway through the first half, all square at 21. We already have five ties and four lead changes, and now we've got another lead change as Shireman connects on his first shot attempt of the day. Shireman from the free throw line extended, and that is pure. Great fade by Shireman there. Shireman in the paint. Nice move for two. And John Gross wants a timeout. Kalkbrenner and Freeman back to Shireman. Shireman, whoa, gets it to drop. 
So far, we're a combined 27% from the floor. Shireman knocks it down. He also can put it on the floor and get into the mid-range area. They got him matched up pretty good on this possession. Shireman only eight points. Can he add to his total? Yes, he can. I asked Rick Barnes yesterday, I said, hey, did you know he's going to be this good? He said, what are you, crazy? <laughs> <laughs> I've known Rick Barnes for 35 years. Shireman. Yeah, we didn't get much from Barnes yesterday. Is out to an eight-nothing advantage and points off turnovers. Shireman in deep position again, and this one drops. So on the floor for the Volunteers. He's a really good sub, too. Tough kid, strong. Shireman over connect. Yes. Wow. Ziegler bounces one. Awaka turn around. Tough shot there. Fade away from 12 feet. Shireman corner three buries it. Blue Jays are 0 for 4 on layups here in the second half. Nothing has come easy against this Tennessee D. Shireman for three. And that's a start. At least it stops the run. Shireman position down low. Draws contact. Looking for the foul. No call, but he gets the bucket. Way too strong. The rebound to Shireman. A rare offensive rebound. And the foul. Hey, this is a this is a typical example of right place, right time. Two Tennessee kids fighting for the ball. Shireman ends up with it, is able to finish it and get the and one.